The first rail of the standard gauge railway was laid at Mtituande and Kenyan President Uhuru Kenyatta, along with several cabinet secretaries, were there to witness. The 4,000 tons of metal rail were shipped in from China by the contractor, China Road and Bridge Corporation. They are being laid from Mtituande all the way to Mombasa. Over 300 kilometers of the rail path have already been cleared and the foundation construction is now in progress. Once complete, the routes of the rail will include Mombasa to Nairobi, 485 kilometers, Nairobi to Malaba with 520 kilometers, and a Kisumu branch line of 174 kilometers. Two new corridors will be built in Lamu to Nedapal of 1,350 kilometers on the border with South Sudan and 700 kilometers from Nairobi to Moyale on the Ethiopia border. It is envisioned that neighboring countries, Uganda, Rwanda and South Sudan, will extend the railway to their capitals. The project costs around $4 billion, of which 85% is to be loaned by the China Exim Bank. The government will finance the rest through budgetary allocations and the recently introduced railway development levy, which charges 1.5% on imports. Upon completion, the line will ease the cost of doing business significantly by reducing transport time and costs to and from the port of Mombasa. This in turn will boost regional trade among the East African Community Bloc. The railway is designed to accommodate speeds of up to 100 km per hour for cargo trains and 120 km for passenger transport. Mahemutwa, CCTV.